Welcome to Lawrence, Kansas. And pay heed all who enter. And beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football, too. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. And you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the TCU Horn Frogs, taking on the winners of four straight, the Kansas Jayhawks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. the 10 yard line he'll bring it back and the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position so kansas offense is on the field for the first time today when your quarterback takes the field you want him to look just like this guy exuding confidence yeah the it factor he's the man nobody questions it everybody on this team knows they've got his back and he's the lead Everybody in the stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. Got the first down and still on his feet. And he's finally ushered out of bounds, but not before. He makes a good game. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Encroachment. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. Ready to fire from the pistol. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. The give to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Tackled, but he has a first down. And the Jayhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Rock Chuck Jayhawk! start for the offense. Points on the board already. And the coaches talked to us this week of how important it was to getting out to a fast start. And that was the key to winning the game. And the offense definitely took that message to heart. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. So TCU's offense will get the ball for the first time. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Palmer. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of a defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. It's Richardson. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Man, these wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times, we're running to them, too. We're focused on chasing it down and funneling the football in the right direction. Defense swarmed did a good job getting their hand on the football, causing the fumble from the wide receiver. 
Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical First running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Three yards. First down for the offense after that penalty. He'll do it himself. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. That's just an obvious face mask penalty there. No way you're getting away with it. Got to keep your composure there. Got it. And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Now on second and goal. Direct snap. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. This defense was put in a difficult spot, but they've made it tough. And now the offense faces third and goal. Trying to pound it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing at all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the... The expressway is wide open. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you can tell the speed sets them up, makes the big play out to the left. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. Gonna run it. It's pain. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Quickly complete. Net had all the makings of Bug me windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping it from getting the first shot? Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Looking for a man, it's Daniels. Find his tight end. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. The Jayhawks send out the punt unit. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. 
Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. They'll throw it on first down. With the catch, it's Richardson. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Horned Frogs will hustle to the line. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go to the draw. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. No huddle here for the offense. Third down play from the gun. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Horned Frogs decide to punt it away. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Here's the handoff. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Give to the running back. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And the Jayhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And they're on him immediately. Down goes the quarterback. And early in the game, I love when you set the tone and make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. Nice job getting him on the ground, getting your first sack of the day. Listen, they had three last week, but they want to continue to build on that number and keep getting it higher, and that's a great start. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. The give to the tailback. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Jayhawks line up to punt it away. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. The Horned Frogs want to move quickly. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. They want to get this defense on its heels. Give to the back. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. That's the end of the quarter. Kansas has the lead here. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now to see if they can answer this early blitz here in the second quarter. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Makes the catch, it's Cook. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Nice job by the running back there on that angle route against zone coverage. He wasn't in a hurry. He was able to sort of find the soft spot in the defense and just gear down, make himself an easy target. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. 
Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. Let's see what they do on third down. Wants to throw. It's Hoover. Gets it out fast. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And it's no good. After the missed field goal, still down by 11. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Kansas! What a catch and run for six. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? Unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Michigan State is down right now, but you simply can't rule out a comeback. Kirk Cousins had a hand in getting this quarterback to East Lansing. So if he thinks the magic is there, who am I to disagree? Looking to pass, it's Hoover. Fires to the middle. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Ohio State. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run for it on third and short. Smashes through the tackle. Flying down the right side. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. I'll tell you, it's nice as a play caller when you know you don't have to call the perfect play. Even if it's not blocked properly, you know you've got guys like him who can make people miss. And this whole offense gets energy from this guy because they love him, because he does that. He does the dirty work. Even if it's not blocked great, he'll make people miss, and he'll make huge plays for this offense. Defense might bring the house here. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Hard Frog! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half where you're fighting to come back by so many points. So great job getting points. Get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21-10. to 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. 
Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they've got to stop the bleeding right now. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Here comes the option. Oh, what a move to get room. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. He now has 106 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. And the Jayhawks have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Here comes the offense on second down. Gives it to the back on the draw. They'll give him four on that when it's third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. The Jayhawks are rolling down the field. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. Going to the run, it's Morrison. Drives into the defense and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive, it's third and two. And the Jayhawks pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Been really impressed watching this offense this year and how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient they don't have penalties. They keep these third downs manageable, and they've got a special talent at running back that can find his way to the sticks. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Going to the running game. Touchdown, Jayhawks! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point sails through for a 28-10 lead. 75 yards on the touchdown drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some... And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. The defense coming up big there. The sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and it's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. So they'll try to salvage this drive on second and long from the 12. Fires to the big fella. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. And he'll be knocked down at the two-yard line. This is a tough part of the field. You want to try to create some space and give yourself an opportunity not to throw out of your own end zone. They didn't hold up in protection. They give up the sack, but thank goodness they didn't give up the safety. And the Horned Frogs will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Had to hurry the punt a bit, but gets great distance. 
He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. I'm not sure he knew he had the face mask there, tried to let it go in time, but couldn't. It's a penalty on the defense. Pulls and throws off the RPO. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. And yeah, hey, get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Quickly complete. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. From inside the 15, here's the return. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing... The freshman able to get home with the sack. The Horned Frogs want to crank the tempo. back it's Hoover he finds his man they bring him down but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down now on third down for this offense from the gun wants to pass grabbed in the middle it's Richardson third down conversions are huge and they've got one and they're at the 35 wants to throw on first down Working that left side now. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. From the red zone, looking for a man. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw right down the middle. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Defense going to use a timeout. Can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final points of this first half. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive.
driving to do that, David. They've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Looking for a crease. It's Morrison. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. The Jayhawks will line up to punt it away. He gets a block. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking downfield, it's Hoover. Pressure coming. He hurls one deep down the left side. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere there today in Lawrence. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that, let's kick it back to the guys at Kansas Memorial Stadium. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, the offense able to pick up some extra yards after that curl throw there, and because the QB got it to his guy early, he was able to turn around, make a guy miss, and go pick up some yak. Trying to get to him. Had to throw it before he wanted. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They're getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. And the Horned Frogs are in the hurry up. Back to throw. It's Hoover. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. This dude is putting in work out of the slot, and he is just wearing out this defense. Man, you see it recent football. They just, these slot guys are so quick, so athletic. You back them up off the football so you can't get hands on them, and you just find ways to continue to get him the football. He's making plays, so I'm going to continue to throw it his way. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there, and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. This offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. Leaves it with the running back. Nice move to stay on his feet. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Illegal block Illegal block the back. Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Out of the gun, looking to throw. Firing to the right, complete. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. He got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here on third down for this offense. 
And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop and getting a little momentum. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Daniels. They're working that left side. Still running at the 40. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Rock Chop. And the punishment has been extended. This offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard. And it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive in the third quarter, march down the field and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Miami was able to finish off a close one in South Florida today. They did just enough both offensively and defensively to come away with the dump. Hey, survive and advance. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. And those long shots, man, I tell you what, it takes a little bit longer to develop. So as a quarterback, you know you got to buy a little bit of time. Mad respect, man. Hang it in there. Nobody's going to get hit, but still making the big play down the field. They feed him again. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. A third down try for the offense. To the ground to try to move the chains. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Horned Frogs will send out the punt unit. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the move, it's Daniels. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separation between him and the defender, and that was a big key in getting that first down. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Now the play fake. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. And the Jayhawks will punt this one away. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Getting some heat. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. There's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. 
They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. You just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. So now they're staring at a second and long from their 20. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Got it behind the line. It's Richardson. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. Off the boot, looking for his man. Quick strike complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And the Horned Frogs are on the move. They're going to run it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Fast motion from the offense. Fires to the wideout. He's open on the right. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. I think one of the most undervalued assets in good quarterback play is the play-action game. Making the run fake honestly and truthfully looking like run you're fooling the defense and then you're just making it easier on yourself because you're giving yourself bigger lanes to throw the football into the horned frogs have it with a first and ten they'll keep it on the ground off right tackle and this one will be stopped for no gain they got nothing on the last play at second and ten And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Gonna run it. It's Cook. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no gain land. That's the end of the quarter. Kansas has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. The return never really got started, but boy, he has set his team up at the 28. And that's a really good job by the defense. Understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into the coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Jayhawks will punt it away on fourth down. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. 
looking to throw. It's Hoover. He looks that one in nicely. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. That's caught. It's paid. They make the stop. Not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throws to the wideout. And the third down pass is incomplete. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Got it in the middle. It's Richardson. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a rushing blow at this point in the game. Love the coverage on defense there. Fourth down. They're ready for the pass. And you saw in the back end, great job being in position to make that play. And now their offense is coming on the field. Back to the ground with the running back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four down territory. Here's third and short. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh. Because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wide out in motion. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. And the Jayhawks have their offense in high gear. On the run, it's Morrison. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the back. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. On the ground with the counter. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Makes the grab outside. It's Williams. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You've got to attack the sidelines. You've got to throw first downs. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Immediately fires to the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They keep attacking through the air. Got his man quickly. Dragged down at the 43, but it's a pickup of 10 on that one. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. The quick out. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. 
Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. He's got it and still on his feet. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. To the air, it's Hoover. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Makes the grab, and he will score! Touchdown, TCU! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today, college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? This game is far from over. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Boy, they have delighted these home fans here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nicely, this offense needs to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more physical team all game long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game. Take the W into the locker room. The give out of the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. The receivers telling the quarterback what they see. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. With the clock running, this should be the final play. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.